Today we're in Berkeley Heights visiting a school that's grown from one student to 18 in one year. We're at Union Village Montessori School. You just celebrated your one year anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. The school has grown considerably from one student up to 18. What has the journey been like? The journey has been a lot of learning for us, learning how to interact with parents, learning how to uh, deal with the business. A lot of learning that we have had on how to work with children has helped us work with parents as well. Keeping the parents happy keeps the children happy as well. It's also about the parents because parenting is hard these days. It doesn't come with a manual. So the more we comfort the parents and work with the parents, you know, they kind of start trusting us. And we are, once the parents are comfortable and trust us, they speak about our school to their friends and neighbors and recommend our school. So it's been a beautiful journey for us and it's an upward trend. Yes, it was an upward trend for us. The journey was like up and down, but we came through it. In a lot of other schools, they have a lot of young teachers, a lot of turnover. What is it like at your, your Montessori school with the teachers? So we have a consistent teachers and we both are a certified too. Like she's AMS and I'm AMI. So in Mo and also we are a true Montessori school, which we have starting from 18 months to 16, six year old child. And also we are giving a flexible program for the parents like half a day program, full day program and before care and after care. So that's all like a major thing for the working parents. And apart from that, our school has a lot of parking lots and we do have a greenery space. Like when the parents come to pick up their children, they relaxed and they will be relaxing and sitting in the grass greenery. We can see like through our eyes and then we will be happy by seeing them relaxing in the grass, sitting down and having a chat. Going back to your question about Montessori, Montessori. certification yeah. and teachers. So we are directors, we are teachers as well. So the two of us, Immaculate and myself, are here from 8.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the evening every single day. So the other schools have attrition, but we are here teaching in the classroom as well as managing the business. Yes, we do, we do need to step out for 10 minutes or when we do a tour sometimes, but one of us is always here. And the teachers, that we, the assistants that we have in the classroom are trained by us and by uh, going to Princeton Montessori to be, to be certified as assistant teachers. And I myself teach adult learners at Princeton Montessori so I am capable of teaching our teachers who are here in the classroom. And our teachers whom we have hired since last year have been here with us and they have come to us through known sources. So it's not through any indie.com or any like you know, papers or yellow pages. It's through known sources. That matters a lot because our professionals who come in here to do enrichment, those teachers have recommended these assistants because they have seen how we function with the children at in our environment and they have liked it so they have recommended these assistant teachers so when it comes to attrition i don't think we're going to have attrition for the next five to ten years we're looking forward to growing our teachers and working with them as a family yeah and we're sitting in the real classroom yes, real little classroom. chairs <laughs> right, little chair. for those yes. not yeah. familiar with montessori how's it different than other schools in other methods so montessori school has five different areas it's a very holistic approach compared to a traditional school it's not about only the academic aspect of it we work with the child in a holistic manner like we have practical life which is an extension of home we have sensorial area which is again working with the senses because children are very sensory based and they have that need. We have culture, like you can see over here, we talk about different cultures, we have artifacts that we bring out. And all of these three areas work towards language and math. Language and math is everywhere in the classroom. Vocabulary is everywhere in the classroom. So we work in, around these five different areas, making the child successful. And it's, we give individual lessons and small group lessons because we follow the child. Our tagline is freedom with boundaries and we follow the child. So the freedom for the child is to pick a work from any area of the classroom. And the boundary is they put it back before they get another work. 
and we follow the child developmentally keeping their chronological age in mind because each child is different even if they are twins they are poles apart so we work with the child one on one and guide them towards and keep help them become successful towards the next lesson so observing them is the key for the child to be successful all that we need is trained certified teachers the child themselves and an aesthetically set up environment for them to be successful so this is how we are different from the other schools and our approach towards the children is more observant approach and then giving them a lesson because having a theoretical certification in this particular field and saying you know I'm a Montessori teacher I know what what lessons to give but the key in Montessori is when to give that lesson because a child has to be ready for that lesson and as teachers if we don't know where the child is developmentally that lesson that we give the child can always backfire so that, and that's the key you know in our environment we observe children a lot and then present the lessons to them so what age groups do you focus on it starts all From the way up at 18 months oh 18 months to okay six, yeah, yeah so 18 months to 3 years is our toddler program and 3 to 6 is our uh, primary. primary it's a mixed age classroom so younger children learn from the older children the older children are mentors so they it it just helps shape their personality they become much more confident and they are able to give lessons and when you give lessons you learn a lot as well because when you're giving lesson each child is different so you need to cater your lesson to suit that child to be able to reach that child's need based on where the child is so for our older children it's a lesson that they are learning while they're giving a lesson and it's it's beautiful to see how they connect and they are able to you know kind of present it to the younger ones and even though you've been here just one year how does the school give back to the local community So last year we have adopted one family, and this year we have adopted two families, so, right? Yes. So uh, we have adopted uh, families from Scotch Plains and Greenbrook area, who are underprivileged. So we have a list, and fam- we give out the list to our families, our school families, and they bring in the gift in a uh, like a toy or as simple as like you know a blanket. like uh, hats and gloves like you know the basic things that they don't have and that they would like to have like this year we have a list in which we have a special formula for the child the parents are not able to afford it so the parents come together they kind of you know give uh, a donation and we buy the formula and we give it back and like even simple things like you know they're looking for a toddler bed with a mattress so we just put it out and there was a family who is very kind enough to give us a toddler bed and a mattress and there's somebody coming today in fact to pick it up so it's always giving back and when we kind of you know have our children as young as 3 years or 2 years give back from a very young age it's it just helps them you know learn how to give back to the community and not always ask for something because when they give back when they are gift wrapping it when they actually see somebody come and take away the gifts right and when they get to know that okay and we show them pictures that this is like you know the child that is using it or the family that's using it the satisfaction that you get like you know the happiness that you get that you help put a smile on somebody else's face when that is put in the child from a very young age it goes a long way and as a community i think we all need to do that like you know just give back one thing to the community whatever you can do be it for a child be it for an adult be it for a family you know we we all can do that i'm sure Great. Thanks so much for sharing the Union Village Montessori School story. Congrats on one year. The school is serving many communities because it's right on the border of Berkeley Heights, Warren, Long Hill, Gillette. So many communities. And we are very close serve. to New Providence as well. As we well, have yeah. families coming from New Providence as well. And Greenbrook too. So Greenbrook is a little far from here, but the parent is because of uh, they trusted us. They are bringing from 25 minutes from there to here. So if you're looking for a great Montessori school, definitely come to Berkeley Heights and check out Union Village Montessori. If you like this video, please share it and also visit bylocalnj.com. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.